until we answer our prayer and accept our worship in the name of Jesus. Let's talk to God. Father, bless me in your word tonight. As I come, don't let me come in vain. Bless me with what money can die and with what money cannot buy in your word. And the Almighty God will touch our soul, spirit, and body, even as we listen to your word tonight. Thank you, Jesus, for answering our prayer. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for this privilege that we have in you to come into your presence again to study your word. Lord, we ask that your word we have into our life and in God we call our desire. Amen. May there be peace. Amen. May there be grace. Amen. In that name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Father, I pray, Lord, that as I open my vocal, my vocal cord, that you put your word there. Amen. And remove everything that is contrary to your word. Amen. Father, both the speaker and the air today, let us be blessed mightily. Amen. And Lord, destroy every power of the enemy that you want to enter the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For answer our prayer. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Today, we are going to part five of this. The text is taken from the book of John, chapter 16, verse 5 and verse 33. This thing I've asked spoken unto you that in me ye may have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good share I have overcome the world. Who overcame the world for you? Jesus. By the grace of God, that word overcome shall be your Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. When we have you, Amen. every member of this church will overcome. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. All my era that is listening to this word online, you we all overcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Last week we learned that it is the will of God for you as follower of Jesus Christ to have peace within you. In whatever trouble you may be going through right now, without many outside of you that you can see, you should be encouraged by the word of God to have peace within you because that is what the Bible says and you should have peace. We also learn that the peace of God is in Christ alone. We don't find the peace of God anywhere. The peace of God, the only peace of God is in Christ. And only the believer in Christ have that peace. And that peace is great to those people that know their God. They will be strong. They will do exploit. That is the promise of God for you. And as a follower of Christ, that promise still remains the same. This thing I first spoken unto you, said Jesus Christ, That in me you may have peace. That was his word. This peace of God is with those that also ready to follow after Christ because the word of God said so. So tonight is going to be another opportunity for you to love Christ the more and to close to him. 
So we shall continue the teaching of this piece. Now Jesus Christ called his disciples one after the other and said, follow me. And when you follow him, he promised you peace. And then they followed him. And then, in his word, he said, I'm going to make you a fisher of men. Meaning that you will go and win souls for him so that your prayer can be answered. Now, in the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 19 to 20, the Bible says, And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. As he called them one by one. In verse 20, the Bible says, And they straight away, after, and, and they straight away left their nets. That is what they were involved in, that is what they were doing. I was taking their time to follow Christ. The Bible says when he called them, straight away they left their nets and followed him. I don't know what has occupied you not to follow Christ. Christ is calling you today to follow him and he wants to make you all fishers of men. And at the end, you will have peace. The disciple of Jesus Christ followed Jesus Christ and at the end, they have peace. They have satisfaction. Only one out of those disciples of Jesus Christ do not have peace because he entered into error. He was the only one that didn't make it. He will make it in Jesus' name. Amen. The rest of them, they make it. The one that entered into error didn't make it among those Follow Jesus Christ, his disciple. Judas was his name. He failed and fell into sin and entered into error and could not enter into the peace of God because of one thing in his life. Look at me. Confidentiousness. Thank you. Let's clap our hand on that, my sister, because of confidentiousness. And we too, if we want to be a follower of Christ, we must be careful. Yes. We are confidious and take and make us to enter into <coughs> error. You shall not enter into error in Jesus' name. Amen. What other thing you can call somebody that is confidious? Greedy. Ah, uh -uh. wow. You are on my notes. Hallelujah. Amen. When somebody is greedy, it's also another word. So be careful of greediness. Now, what a great lesson we learn here. That the luxury of this world that can offer cannot give your soul eternal rest. Money cannot give you rest. Hello? Hi. You may be you may enjoy your money. You know, you can enjoy your money and I pray you enjoy your money in Jesus' name. Amen. But the rest and the peace of God, only God can give that. If I can bally at the it's alone, hallelujah. The peace of God, Allah alone. And when you follow Jesus Christ, you have this peace of mind and satisfaction. That is what it is. It's not how much you have that you make you to be satisfied. In fact, the more you have, the more you will not be satisfied. That is what the Bible says. That silver and gold do not satisfy. Either not silver and gold shall not be satisfied. That is what the Bible says. No money will satisfy you. You still want more. If you want more money, you have to be hallelujah. hallelujah. It's not a sin. Hallelujah. But just know that no matter how much you have, you will not be satisfied. One thing that can satisfy you, and that is Christ. When it's inside of you, if you have money, you'll be satisfied. If you don't have money, you'll be satisfied. Apostle Paul said, when I have and when I don't have, I've learned to be content. But only in Christ you can have this peace of God that I'm talking about that is inside of your heart and then it goes into your mind so that your soul can have rest at last. 
Our soul is not blessed as well with Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ said, those his followers and those that will follow him is going to prepare a mansion for them. <laughs> Somebody else will not inherit the mansion. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There is an hymn say, I have decided to follow Jesus. I am decided to follow Jesus. I am decided to follow Jesus. No money, no coming back, no coming back. And they say, do not go with me. I still will follow. Do not go with me. Do not go with me. I still will you follow? I still will follow. I do not go with me. I still will follow. No, 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 The world behind me. He will be at the cross before me. The cross before me. The world behind me. The world behind me. Let the world go and the cross before you. The cross before me. Cross. Is it easy? No. But the end of that cross is peace. The trouble that you may go through in this world is the cross that you have to carry. But at the end, you will have peace. Matthew chapter 16, 24 to 26. The Bible said, Then said to Jesus unto his disciples, Listen to this very well. If any man will come after me, he promised you peace, right? So if anyone will come after me, let him deny himself. What your body wants, what your lust wants, what you desire, even for yourself, when it's contrary to the commandment of God, you let it go. And then he said, and take up my cross. Take that cross. That is his will for you. At the end, you are going to have peace. He said, and follow me. Apostle Paul said, follow me as I follow Jesus Christ. He said, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. If you fail to carry your cross, you will not deny yourself. You are not denying yourself when you fail to carry your cross. Hello? To my God, believe alone. Hallelujah. I believe you can walk to the name. But you have to carry it. If, if anyone wants to be his disciples, and being a disciple, he promised his disciple, he will promise the Bible that they will have peace, that he has overcome the world. Though you may have trouble, those are the crosses that you're going to carry. But be of good share, for he has overcome for you. He has paved the way of peace for you. So everybody challenges is different. The attitude you face that challenges is what really matters here. Yeah, you have to deny yourself and carry that cross that God has made for you. Whatever that cross might be, I do not know and I cannot tell you. I carry my own cross. You have to carry your own cross. And we have to do it by denying ourselves. So that that was the purpose. They offer Unto God, a living sacrifice, only and more acceptable to God, which is what your reasonable service. Hallelujah. Amen. God said, You have to love by yourself a living. Now you have to be alive, and then you have to sacrifice yourself. Now, when you want to do a sacrifice, you must die first. Can you put a live uh, animal on the fire? How do you sacrifice? You have to 
kill the animal and put it on fire. What if, what if Jonah? And the sweet aroma had to go to heaven. He said, offer yourself a living sacrifice. Meaning that you have to die to anything <laughs> that is, that is, you know, you know, that is yourself. I make him to be alive for you. Deny yourself. And then offer yourself a living sacrifice unto God. Say, it's not my wish now, but your will will be done. So that the end of it is going to be peace for you. When Jesus Christ was going through this crucifixion, it wasn't easy. Was it easy? Even when he said, God, <laughs> I will that this call pass over me. But he denied himself. He said, but, not as I will, but your will be done. And it wasn't easy. When he carried the sin of the whole world upon his head, even his father could not look. Because God could not look. Because he carried the sin of me and you. But at last, he took key from death and Satan and Hades so that he can give you life. The life that the enemy has stolen from the garden of Eden, he returned it back to you. And we that are not Israeli, we are not bad for Israeli, we take it by adoption. Somebody said, Hallelujah. All the end for us to have peace. If you want to follow after him, deny yourself, take up his cross and follow him. For whatsoever, whatsoever, it doesn't matter either black or white, either young or old, whosoever will save his life shall lose it. I want to live my life. When bad no more, I hear me, you ever not to save your life. The truth of the matter is that you don't know tomorrow. Hallelujah. And God wants you to enjoy your life. But in Christ, that you can actually enjoy your life, not out of Christ. And I pray you will enjoy your life in Jesus' name. Amen. So if you want to defend your life, not to follow Christ, you were eventually going to lose it. And you know the world, the world, IETI, they have their own system of putting you in a spot that you may want to deny Christ. And the Bible says, I wish everyone will lose his life for my sake, shall we all shall find it. Now, if you are ready to let go, hallelujah, if in your life, for the sake of Christ, then you are going to find your life back. Does Christ got his life back? I don't hear you. Yes. How many days does he stand in the top? And he already told you that on the third day I'm going to walk, rise again, and on the third day he rose. Hallelujah. And the son said, Do you know why I believe in Jesus? Do you know why he's so great? Why he's so great? As a tree dead, he rose from there. I never see a man from there like Jesus Christ. That is why he's love. Sing with me. He said, For what is a man profit? For what is a man profited? If he shall gain the 
whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Now look, your soul is ruining you, and this is your beautiful body that doesn't want to be going nowhere, that you know wants you to go against the law of God that is going to affect your soul at last. Hallelujah. If you lose your soul because of the things of this world, you end up not become a fool at last, and you will not be a fool in Jesus' name. So that is why the Bible says that it is good to follow Christ, not the profit, not the gain of this world. Now, the gain of this world and the profit of this world is what shifted the focus of his chariot. And at the end, it was a disaster for him. The enemy steal his peace away from him. Why? Because he committed suicide. He could not have rest again. Satan is back. Laughter in way. When the enemy snaps your peace from you, you will do the unthinkable. You will do things that used to you will regret that you do it. Because at the thinking of an eye, when he finds himself in there, he will be regretting. I didn't mean he didn't kill himself. Okay? He will have had the opportunity to repent. Hallelujah. But the problem is that when the enemy steal your peace from you, you will not be, you are not the one that is controlling yourself again. The devil will overwhelm you. And then it will make you to do things that it will take you to have been back. Hallelujah. I can bank I can scatter everything. Tell me bam be no could not your joy fair. Could not you know, you know, this the the good times. Because the enemy, now those people, don't want, all those fighters, all those people that are calling you, all those people that are envy and jealous and bitter, because the enemy has still their joy. People that have joy, they, you know, they have love, they, they, they don't want anybody to be sad. But when you want to, when, anybody, when you want somebody to be sad, when you are not happy with the good of others, that the devil has taken your peace from you. Jesus Christ said, the peace that I give unto you is not as the world. I pray the Lord will give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. So when you allow your when you allow yourself to be deceived by the devil, the devil will steal the peace of God from you. There are people that they can do anything. Hallelujah. To, to, to make people sad and cry. When they see you prosper, right? hallelujah, they are not happy. And if they can have any time, anything to stop your, your, happiness. your happiness, they will. Because the enemy has still their own happiness, their own peace. So they want other people to be sad like that. Have you know I don't know if you know you know you know something that they call sadists. Sadists are people that they are not happy with anybody. They just want to remain sad because the enemy has stolen their job. That will not be a lot in Jesus' name. Amen. So, they are the, uh, what do you call it, is carrying up, ending up taking up his own life. How many people now taking their own life at will? They say they are tired by this world. The enemy deceives somebody to tell you that they carry go and, and blow their head off. They jump from the, uh, you know, you know, skyscraper building and jump to their death. And some people go to the river and jump. I saw something on the Facebook, an old man, that they were begging not to not to jump into the river, into the I don't know what they are begging him. The people stop on the bridge and begin. The man didn't this thing, just jump into the water. Jesus. Yeah. Jump into the river like that. Because the enemy has stolen his joy. It's not an accident, an accident is different. But this is a willing act. He committed a suicide. Because the enemy has still his joy. The enemy will not see his joy in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody said that will not be my Lord. The enemy will not, will not see my joy. So now you have to be careful about the offer of the devil. I hear K, uh, well, sorry, Ye is where it's now. Is it West? Like, what did they call it? Kanye West. He said that 
for his friend, for his friend to sacrifice his own mother. Say any here. Say any here. And then of all his fame and all his wealth now, they turn, they turn against him. But I want they are requesting something eh, from him that they cannot hear yeah, with now or not to be put in the now he said no. And then he was saying that he's like, and he was mentioning people that are famous. He said, you want fame, you want to become only, then you have to sacrifice. Hallelujah. I had one of these uh, musicians, great musicians, he said that does he want it that he used our own blood to sign the uh, fame? We go watch it, man. So the, when when the devil deceives you to to for profit for gain and then you you do something that I pray the Almighty God will have mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. So this is the tricks of the enemy. Hallelujah. Now what can we say about the rich man who came to Jesus Christ for counsel to know what he can do to enter into the kingdom of God? The answer this man got was not what he was expecting. Hallelujah. The rich man does not want to follow Jesus Christ. He doesn't want to follow after Jesus Christ because of his riches. So be careful. Hallelujah. Of gains and profit and wealth. It is all what the devil uses. The one God has given to you, be okay with it. Hallelujah. Amen. And just stay on your leg. Be good with your hand. Be good with your brain. Seek for good people to help you. Am I talking to somebody? And then you will find out you will be happy. Because God Almighty is the one that tip your hand to war and your finger to fight. Is the one that tip your hand to make profit. It will make you to be profitable in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. It is good. And this one has said, durable riches and righteousness are for me. Hallelujah. And uh, when you come to Christ, Christ is the wisdom of God. is the power of God. You will, have, you, you will be wise. And you will know how to get weights. And God will grant unto you that grace in Jesus' name. Amen. No, I wasn't expect that answer. The rich man does not want to follow Jesus Christ because of his riches, and the riches ending up stealing his heavenly home from him. That would not be your lot in Jesus' name. Amen. What a pity for that young man. This young man, the Bible says, he was obedient unto the word of God from his youth. The only problem he lacked, he could not follow Jesus Christ. And this peace that is going to make you to have this peace of God in your mind is when you follow after him. Jesus Christ, hallelujah. What do you say? What do you say to the guy? Master. Matthew chapter 19. Verse 21 to 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, to perfect way, go and say that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. Follow Jesus. That invitation was given to that man. It could have been the acting uh, uh, disciple of Jesus Christ. But when the young man had the say, the Bible say, he went away sorrowful. The enemy still is joy. But that again, me. Hallelujah. Ah, that would be India, you know, we have to be careful. We have to be careful. So, he went home sorrowfully. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the man went home sorrowfully. 
That will not be your lot in Jesus' name. Amen. For what? He had great possession. He has a lot of possession. And that was his problem. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, Verily I said unto you that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. So, now be watchful about whatever that might be an hindrance between you and you following Jesus Christ. What he asks you to do, you know, in obedience his work, because that is your own riches. Your own riches could be anything. Maybe education, maybe connection, maybe family line, maybe your, you know, your beauty, maybe your, you know, your potentials, maybe the group, you know, the carcass of people that, you, whatever that is your weight, that you know that God has given you that, don't use that one against God. And I pray the Almighty God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, a lot of people that are supposed to have peace of God in their life, but due to the one reason or the other, one reason or the other, they were not able to follow Jesus Christ. One reason that they had, or the other. That was why they could not follow Jesus Christ. And at the end, they enter into hell. Whatever that does not make you to follow Jesus Christ, or obey his word, that is what that, that, that is the word is going to prevent you to have the peace of God. Anything that divide you, that hinder you not to follow Christ or obey his word, that is the that is the, the that is the number one thing that is going to hinder you from having peace of God. Because the devil is going to use that one as a reason why you're not supposed to have peace. Do you understand? The riches of Job. That was the reason the devil used to go and make peace. That it is because God has blessed him. What does the enemy have to use against Lazarus the poor man? Do you, do you read it in the Bible that the devil go and uh, report to Lazarus that he was poor? Hello? Does he make heaven? Yes. What about the rich man? Does he make heaven? No. Okay. So let's learn. Now, I'm not telling you that it's not good for you to be rich. You will be rich in Jesus' name. Amen. And I will be rich. We married. Hallelujah. Amen. So shall you be in Jesus' name. Amen. Me and you shall be rich. Amen. But do not allow your riches to hinder you from obeying the word of God. That's it. If God knows that if he bless you, that blessing is not going to make you to be proud against his law and against his word. He's ready to bless you. If I said the riches of the gender, the fellow of the gender, who are for? They are for the children of God. They are for the righteous. And you will not be poor. Amen. Hallelujah. It's written in the Bible. I'm young, now I'm old. I've never seen that young man forsaken, nor is he begging for, for, for food. That means that you know people. Now, David pray a prayer, and we should learn from it. He said, God, don't let me be poor so that I will not sin. I will not do anything that is going to contrary. He said, Why? It's because I'm poor. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said, But don't give me also riches, too much riches, that I'm going to walk. Be far away, sin against sin again. I'm going to be now begin say, I don't need to pray anymore. I don't need to obey the word of God anymore. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because they are all, they are rich now. And whatever that hinder you not to follow Christ, that is exactly what is going to cost you your peace. So be wise. This is a good lesson for us that in whatever thing that may separate you and your God will eventually steal your grief from you. Be wise and come to Jesus Christ. Even today, tomorrow might be too late. So, settle your case with God. John chapter 16, that 3. This thing that I have spoken unto you that in me ye may have peace. In the world, you shall have tribulation. For be your good share 
I have overcome the world. Et il n'y a aucun qui nous a Suffering do not kill people. It make you wise. It's not a It's just a long pain. Do you understand? When you walk, your, your brain is going to be sharp. Your mind is going to be sharp. Your body is going to look fresh. The good thing is that when you really walk, you will sleep good. You share Hello? The Bible says, give his beloved sin. But when you are lazy, busy body, around and you know, to, to, to sleep is problem. I'm going to Let you know in your mind work for you. I pray the Almighty God will help us in Jesus' name. So Jesus Christ said, I have overcome the world. Christ's victory is Christian triumph. Hallelujah. Amen. So you triumph because Jesus Christ has overcame for you. Christ overcame the prince of this world. He came to tempt him. How many temptations is he recorded? Who can tell me the number one? Uh -huh. At the time that he was hungry, the Bible says he was fasting for how many days? days. Talk to me. 40 days. 40 days. 40 days. Hello? Uh -huh. And then he came to him exactly the day that he's going to break. And that time he said, Yes, you are hungry now. Just turn the stone to the bread. And what would this surprise respond? He said, no, I was fasted for 40 days. Look at the devil. This surprise said, no, I'm not going to take order from you. This, if I don't eat this bread today, I'm not going to die. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I'd rather obey the word of God than for me to obey your word and begin to eat stone as bread. He said, no. I'm not going to obey you. Even though Jesus Christ have power to turn, have the authority to turn the stone to bread, then no, I'm not going to do it. There are things that you, you know, you have right to do, but you just choose that I'm not going to do it because I'm what? I'm a child of God. I can't do it. Even though the devil said, do it. To my sake, no matter there is nothing. But no, I can't do it because I am a child of God. That's it. That's what I prefer. He said, no. Man shall not live by bread alone. Now, if anyone disobeys the word of God and live, uh, you know, and not live by the word of God, and uh, you eat stone instead of bread, it becomes a problem for you. Sin is a, is a problem. I pray the Almighty God will deliver anyone from any evil, uh, you know, uh, any trouble in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the second uh, text was, he said, who oh, can tell me? Eh? No. Thank you. He take him to the pentacle. He said, it should jump. That it is written. He was quoting the scripture. That the Lord will command his angels to carry you. They will not allow your feet to dash into the stone. And that was the scripture. You know, the devil knew the scripture. Mother, the people that is following Christ. It is amazing. There are many people that are in occultism, know the scripture, but there are people that call themselves born again because they read it, hallelujah, to debate and take you from the word of God. How many people have been deceived today? Because they have ancient here. I pray the Almighty God will deliver anyone that, you know, you know, the devil is, uh, you know, want to, you know, uh, cheat in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ said, no. Hallelujah. Amen. I can't do that either. 
Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. And what did he say? He said, you cannot tempt. You know? That's, that's pride. You know, when pride enters into man, it made them to feel big. And say, I can do whatever I, can, I want to do. Because I told you, I told you, mommy, I'm not answering to anybody. After all, I have my money. After all, I have my power. After all, I have my education. After all, I'm this and that. Inside of you, you have not offered yourself a living sacrifice. And look, it is, one, it is the thing that the word of God said you shouldn't do, that you will love to do. The devil is at the door, he was he's tempting you like he was tempting Jesus Christ. Then now, John, because they will be, you know, the angel is gonna, they're gonna be there, they're gonna catch you. They push you. Hey, mom, it's no one, one push you, one push you. I'll be them pushing a lot of people to do things that come back. You might come back there, the The devil might away, hey, hey, thank you. You know, there is a song they say, Sora, Sora, oh, ni bagbo, Sora, Faye ba umpo, Ase fiye ni gha, Agwe o gege, Ala omo le, Fi o ba ba le ta, Wa lo ta, ta bi ko ta. Hallelujah. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. And the third one is eh? bow down for me. For what? For all the goodies that is in the world. The thief. He showed Jesus Christ the whole the glory of the world. He said, It belongs to me. Just bow down, I will all give to you. And what was the answer? You shall not bow down for any other God except the true God. Now, who are people are bowing down for today? Those people that they are bowing down for, they are the people to take their kids from there. Hello, just talk about the celebrating. Now, I want to phone me. I have that one of the major here, one of the popular major that maybe it was in the in the uh, before. And then when they want to bury him, the people came. And the church. And when they want to bury him, the people came. And the church, they want to do their ritual for them. The father said no. They said no, it's among God. He said yes, I know. But he has repented, and he has renounced you that because he told the pastor that he was he belonged before, but maybe he got sick. He knew that he's going to die. He actually, you know, confessed for the pastor, and they 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 took they to know. So they couldn't uh, fight him, fight his cup, you know, take his cup. Where they will come? They will come and take your cup, cups, and go and do whatever they, they have to do, their they ritual, before they give it to And uh, uh, what happened to you tell me to people who are willing? You are gone. But when, but when you have repented, there's nothing they can do. Because they are dead, we already know that they are really to go. And it is in Jesus Christ you can have that peace. It is in that Jesus Christ you can have that peace. Now, if you are in narcotism, if you are in all kind of evil, you are uh, making the company, go and renounce them. Hello? Because in the Lord of Christian the Wa, Matthew Ayeba, or Nunje, and Matthew Ayeba, or Nunje, or the Layo. And I you know, say, all those people that belong, they don't have peace. And they are afraid. Because they, they, they begin to, now the devil is going to be demanding continuously things from you. It's better for you not to enter into it. But if you enter, go and ask. Go and renounce them. And give your life to Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever trouble that they give to you here, the Bible says you are good share because it has overcome the world. Only go you are talking to you. I will let you know now. Fawahala. Am I talking to somebody? To ba ti fawahala kwa are malofa. I pray the Almighty God will help you and your position in this sustain. Now, 
And then Jesus Christ, by his power, disarmed the devil and cast the devil out. He said, get out from me, Satan. And the devil get out from him. Not only that alone, Jesus Christ tread Satan under our feet as a follower of Jesus Christ. He gave us power over the devil and his court. Christ gave us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. It's written in his word, and over all the powers of the enemy. Now the authority has been given unto you as a follower of Jesus Christ for you to exercise your authority over all the powers of the devil according to the scripture. That authority is yours since Christ. So that you can have peace. When the enemy wants to rail their power, you can command the devil as Jesus Christ commanded the devil. Get out from me. And the Bible says, what are you going to do? They will flee. Oh, don't need. You just have to take your stand and tell the word to him. He knew the word. Just tell it to him. Pronounce that word. In as much in Christ, you will have to flee. Hallelujah. Amen. Luke chapter 10, 17 to 20. The Bible says, And the 70 return again with joy. You are going home with God in Jesus' name. Amen. Say, Lord, even the devil are subject unto all through thy name. When they call the name of Jesus Christ, the devil bow. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning, forth from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpent and scorpion and over all the powers of the enemy. And nothing shall be enemies unto you, notwithstanding. Look at this. He said, notwithstanding, in this rejoice not. Don't even rejoice it's because you have power over the devil. But rather rejoice. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't rejoice, notwithstanding. Rejoice not on this, that the spirit are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your name is being written in the book. Of heaven, your name are written. Or going at the cause That is what supposed to make you joy. Not whatever you achieve here or next. What is not of the authority that Jesus has over the devil, but thank God rejoice near your people or because in heaven you there's no edge here. Be happy about that. Jesus, uh, hallelujah. So Jesus Christ overcame the children of this world by comforting them. He comforted many of the children of the world. Hallelujah. And when they believe the word of Jesus Christ, those people that are fiber, those people that are serpents, they help them not become the children of God by the power of the word of God. The children of darkness before are now in light. How many people that were born to, uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, you know, if I, uh, by the day, Oluba Oluba, you know, uh, uh, Islam, and, uh, you know, Buddhists, and, uh, uh, you know, Hindus, uh, uh, Guru Maharaj, that by the power of the gospel are changed, are comforted. Because they encounter this crowd. People that were turning to serpent before, that were other on the way, that are troublemakers, that are thieves, that are arm robbers, and for one night, when they encounter the power of Christ, they change. Fighter become somebody that cannot even lift up his hand to beat other. It's a taboo for him to even cause. Hallelujah. So, because they are a counter Christ, the people that are supposed to be using a crochet, now they can't do it that again because the power of Christ has changed their life. Hallelujah. This is what the authority that Jesus Christ has 
and he has given that authority to you to go and change so as well. The other, the serpent of the way, the serpent of your family, of your father's house, of your mother's house, when you express the gospel unto them, that power of Christ will give them to bow down and say, Jesus, you are Lord. That demonic man that was possessed when they saw Jesus Christ, hallelujah, the demon in him bowed and he was delivered because the devil was cast away. The man actually wanted to become the disciple of Jesus Christ, he was following him. And Jesus Christ said he should go to his hometown to go and be preaching. Am I talking to somebody? These were demon possessed before that was killing himself. And nobody can tell him. But by the power of the gospel, he was able to be delivered. The Lord will deliver somebody tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. When that man was delivered, peace of God came into his life. It was, the Bible says, it was on the Omar he was in himself. But before Christ, before he became a follower of Christ, he was, he was living in the, in the, in the sepulchre. He was living in the burial ground. Because the devil has stole his peace from him. The power of Christ in the gospel has changed many kingdom darkness to the kingdom of God by the grace. Now tonight, if you two humble yourself and believe the power of the gospel that I'm talking about in Christ Jesus, it will save you. It will save you too if you humble yourself and uh, accept the grace of God in the word of God. Maybe your own night is your night today. If you are listening to me online or you are here, I'm inviting you to come to Jesus so that you can save. Now, right now and right here, hallelujah, as you hear this word, the peace of God will come into your mind Amen. and all the trouble of your life will disappear. Amen. And then you too you will dwell among the people that behold the glory of God. And then you will see the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. And then you will have peace of God in your life and Satan cannot take it from you again. Satan cannot do anything on the peace of God that you have in Christ Jesus. John chapter 1, 14. And 16 and 17. And the one was made flesh and dwell among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And of his fullness have we received and grace for grace. And the law, for the law was given by most people, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. The grace of God that saved every sinner that come to God by Christ still available and is still the same and active. Come to God by Christ today. The grace of God has been extended to you in Christ Jesus. Grab it and begin to follow Jesus Christ from now and onward. It is well with your soul in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody say a big amen to that. Amen. Now, in Ephesians chapter 2, I'm reading from 8 to 14 as I close. And then I'm going to open for, you know, maybe taking a couple of questions. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of war, lest any man should boast. No matter how much your sin may be, Christ can still save you. For we are his, uh, for we are his work machine, created in Christ Jesus unto good work, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past, gentle in the flesh, who are called for circumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at the time you were without Christ, being a name from the commonwealth of Israel, a stranger from the covenant of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who sometimes were far off and made near 
by the blood of Christ. For he is what? Our peace. Only our love, our tea at the moment. You collect the leg. No matter what, so do it. Oh, what be a love, our dear mom alone. Who have made both? Who have made both one? And has broken down the middle wall of the partition between us. There is no more intermediary. Hallelujah. Amen. Sin do not have dominion over us anymore. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no wall between us. We can have access to Christ. About the Sala Sala Barona, I watch your long walk. About Messer Kuru, as they were no one for long. And the Bible Come now. Hallelujah. Go to the throne of grace that you may receive grace and find a mercy in time of need. And this is our time of need. So that the peace of God can radiate in our life forever and never. It's time for question and answer. Any question and answer? Yes. Uh, what is the difference between peace with God and, and peace of God? And is it possible to have one without the other? What is the difference between the peace in God? Peace with God and peace of God. Yeah, the peace with God is that when you are sanctified, you are satisfied with the demand of God. That is, you have peace with God. And then peace of God is that when God make everything peaceful around you. Okay? So, you know, your family is peaceful, your work is peaceful, your children are peaceful, your wife, your husband are peaceful, you are peaceful with everything that is going on around you. That's peace of God. That's around you. Peace with God, it is you and your relationship with God. And peace of God is the peace that you actually have and that you seek. Okay? How can you ensure that though you are rich, you are not part one soul of the word of God? I don't hear you. How can you ensure that though you are rich, you are not part one and still obey the word of God? Ma, let me magnify it. You are not thankful? The last, the last part. How can you make sure, make sure that you are rich and you are not being prideful and still obey the word of God? How can, like, you are not pride. Okay. So if I have, if I hear your question correctly, is that you are rich, right? Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure that your riches do not make you to be proud. And uh, you are rich. You are not proud. Yeah. And you are still being good. Okay. You are rich and you are not uh, proud. proud in obeying God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now, I want to tell you that um, praise the Lord. It is good to be to be rich and as well uh, to know that whatever that God has given to you is just by the grace of God. Do you understand? So, and, uh, when you would have that one at the back of your mind that this riches that God has given to me is just by the grace of God that I am where I am, I think that's going to help you to checkmate yourself, not to be proud against uh, God. I don't know if I answered that to your question well. You sure? Okay. 
Praise the Lord. Uh, any other question or contribution? Is there any, is there any uh, question online? Okay, those are the two questions. Okay. God bless you in Jesus' name. Let's stand up on our feet and uh, talk to God that the Almighty God will help us to, you know, follow Jesus Christ as He wants us to follow Him. That the grace of God will grant unto us the grace to. Uh, you know, do his will all the days of our life. Let us pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Santa Cala Padilla, in the mighty name of Jesus. Santa Cala Padilla, in the mighty name of Jesus. Santa Cala Padilla, in the mighty name of Jesus. Santa Cala Padilla, in the mighty name of Jesus. And in Jesus' name we are praying. Pray that this one will not condemn you, but this one will justify you. Let us pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And let me was this church. This one will not condemn us, but this one will justify us. And in Jesus' name we are praying. We are going to pray that anyone in this church or all our loved ones that may be in one need or the other, that the Almighty God will answer their, their prayer, and the Almighty God will grant unto them their heart desire. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for all members of this church, all our loved ones, worldwide, Lord Jesus Christ, wherever they may be, and the Lord will grant unto them their heart desire, grant unto them their prayer, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for the peace of God that my daughter asked about, that the Almighty God will grant unto every member of this church the peace of God, all our loved ones, the peace of God, that the peace of God will be upon us and upon our children and upon every member of this church, that the peace of God will rise in our life and in Jesus' name we are praying. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for this wonderful time in your presence. We have that the peace of God will rise in our life. Amen. Continue to do your will Amen. all the days of our life. The blessing you come unto us today, let it be permanent. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for answer our prayer. Amen. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Can we share the grace? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet presence of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our uncle, <laughs> the Praise the Lord. Bless you.